The Prime Minister is playing down talk of a political dirt unit operating out of her office, saying it's reasonable for MPs to be scrutinised. Senior Minister Simon Crean is distancing himself, saying dirt files are inappropriate, while the opposition is questioning the government's ethics. Here's political reporter Nata Gilmore. When it comes to her political opponents, Julia Gillard thinks a bit of digging is justified. I'm talk talking about the, the benefits of scrutiny. The ABC has revealed details of a document handed to ministerial staffers by the Prime Minister's Director of Strategy, Nick Rees, last month. At the same time, Fair Work Australia was wrapping up its investigation into former Labor MP Craig Thompson. It told staff how to gather background information on coalition frontbenchers, including companies they're involved in fundraising and legal cases. It is typical of this government that uh, a dirt unit should be operating not somewhere in the bowels of Labor Party headquarters, but in the office of the Prime Minister herself. Julia Gillard says she hasn't seen the document but is defending the need to make certain information public. Things like opposition members buying shares in coal mining companies at the same time that they're running around telling people that coal mining will end in this country. But not everyone's convinced. I don't believe in dirt files. I don't think it's appropriate to use anyone to compile dirt files. I think. You know what, politics has got to get above that. Simon Crean's not the only one with concerns. Another Labor MP has told the ABC such activities shouldn't be associated with the Prime Minister's office. Digging up dirt is nothing new in politics and in the past, Julia Gillard herself has been an outspoken critic. In 2007, as Deputy Opposition Leader, she criticised the Howard government's tactics. Let's look at the offering of a dirt file on me by someone in a ministerial suite in the Howard government. Back then, she said she expected scrutiny, but not at taxpayers' expense. Nada Gilmore, ABC News, Canberra.